After two months, the last mechanical elements to go on the Bionic Man's outer shell are the legs. They're built from a set of hydraulic hips, computer-controlled knees, and the world's most lifelike bionic ankles. But they can't walk on their own without a human sense of balance. The solution is an ingenious invention from New Zealand. So this is Rex. Wow. It's huge. Rex is short for robotic exoskeleton. This exoskeleton designed for paraplegics has enough onboard motors and computer processors to move and balance on its own. Okay, should we try making it take a few steps? Okay, guys, yeah. okay. Ready? ready? Cool. Okay, yeah, let's try that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> this technology represents a huge breakthrough, but it's still no match for the natural movement and durability of the human body. When humans learn to walk, they start off very small, so falling over isn't much of an issue. And as they get taller and taller, they get better and better at holding themselves up. For robots to, to learn to walk in the same way is almost never possible, simply because robots tend to be a lot more, actually more fragile than even small humans are. Seeing the body walk for the first time, I think that was pretty cool because it was this kind of a moment of coming to life. And I was quite surprised that it worked this well without falling over. That was, yeah, I think that was the moment where it, for me, really became the body for the first time. 